Hi, I'm Paul Begley. Is the world going to end on April the 13th, 2036? Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? Well, the Russians are serious, and their scientists are all over this, and there's reports coming out everywhere, and NASA knows about it. But what does the Bible say? For it is the Word of God. Let's look quickly. Jesus said these words in Matthew 24, okay? So just relax, but are you saved? Remember, God does use nature. It was God that held back the water for Moses as they crossed the Red Sea. It was God that sent the ten plagues in the land of Egypt to set the children of Israel free. It was God that brought an earthquake when Christ was on the cross. It was God that held the sun up for an extra ten degrees while the children of Israel fought a battle. It was God that put the star of Bethlehem. It is God who made the heavens and the earth and the stars above, and it will be God who will bring this world to an end with the wrath of the fury of the Lamb. But how will he do it? Can he use nature? Will he use nature? He always has. Matter of fact, I'm going to give you this real quick. Let's look here in Matthew 24. They, were at, they asked him what would be the promise of his coming, and he told them. Uh, they asked him on the Mount of Olives. He said, you know, there's going to be wars, rumors of wars, uh, be not troubled, for the end is still not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. There shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in different places. And all these are beginning of sorrow. But because of liquidity, uh, iniquity shall abound, the love of many will wax cold. There will be false prophets, and five will be in one house, two against three, three against two. He, he says all these things. But let me show you a scripture that Jesus says. Hang on, just one more. There it is. Matthew 24, verse 21. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world. To this time, no, nor ever shall be. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. In other words, if there was going to be a major catastrophe or nuclear mega mega explosion if god could see into the heart of man and read the minds or see an asteroid coming toward the earth to crash god could step in and end it and bring judgment day to the world let's read what's going on though um is this asteroid named Ap apopis is headed toward the earth in 2004, NASA scientists announced that there was a chance that Apopis, an asteroid larger than two football fields, could smash into Earth on 2029. And a few additional observations and some number crunching later, astronomers noted that the chance of the planet killing hitting the Earth in 2029 was probably zero. But now there's new reports coming out of Russia that say the scientists there have estimated that Apopis will collide with Earth on April the 13th, 2036. These reports conflict on the probability on a, such a doomsday event, but the question remains, how scared should we be? Technically, they're correct, says NASA. There is a chance. A popus will hit Earth. They'll have to go, though, through a gravitation keyhole just a little bit larger than the asteroid itself. But if the asteroid goes through it, it will collide with Earth on the fateful day, April 13th, 2036. Are you saved? You mean Jesus is going to come back sometime, Paul, between now and April 13th, 2036? I didn't say that. I just read the Bible where it said God would shorten the days for the church's sake, or there'd be no flesh saved. And if there is an asteroid that's going to crash into the earth and destroy the world on that day, then wouldn't it make sense that the Lord would come back prior to that? Now, what day would he come back? I don't know. Tomorrow? I don't think so. Where's the Antichrist? He hasn't been revealed. The seven-year tribulation period has yet to kick in, but we are getting close with the economy in shambles and the current and the currency crisis so bad there is going to probably be a one world currency, which would mean a one world government, which would mean the rise of the beast and the Antichrist and the mark of the beast 
and the Christians are being persecuted all over the world. There's earthquakes happening every day on the globe, and we got blackbirds falling out of the sky. Fish just just reported today. My good friend John D. Hart sent me another um, update that there's a, a thousands of fish that washed ashore in Florida today, and cows are falling over in Wisconsin and Vietnam, which fulfills the prophecy of Hosea chapter 4, verses 1, 2, 3. Israel's being surrounded by radical jihad. The Muslim nations are falling apart. They're riding in the streets. The four horsemen is riding through the land. Jesus is coming back, folks. Do you know him as your savior? The question is, are you saved? Have you ever called upon the name of the Lord? The Bible says, if you do, you shall be saved. Have you repented of your sin? Or are you an atheist, disbelieving, rejecting, and even mocking this very video that you're watching right now? Well, I know this much. There's one who created all things, and he's completely in control. If you're not saved and you want to be, would you send me quickly a personal message right now? Say, Pastor Begley, I want to be saved. I want to be saved. I'll respond to you quickly and help you receive Christ as your Savior. I'm Paul Begley. I'm nobody. But Jesus is Lord.